Welcome to Mosaic Arts Online. I'm Catherine England. I'm a self-taught artist, mosaic artist, and I enjoy a unique approach to my art. Much of my work and teaching comes from my passion for art journaling. My favorite way of journaling is using my right brain muscles to draw and paint objects and subjects realistically. By doing so, I have developed a method for using this skill set in my mosaic creations. The techniques I teach in this course will allow you to see color and value transitions in stained glass that help you create a realistic steel life mosaic. We will start with choosing our image, uh, an image that works well for you for this project. And I've included seven images in this class kind of to get you started. Um, next, we'll prepare and paint the frame. I'll teach you a couple of techniques and we'll adhere the image to the substrate. Then the real fun begins. I will share how I deconstruct sections of the glass to make portions of my image. By doing so, I use the largest pieces possible for each transition that have the color and value and movement that I'm looking for. Throughout this process, I will demonstrate cutting and placement techniques that help the image appear absolutely seamless. You will start tuning in your ability to see colors on the glass corresponding with the transitions in your image. I will focus on value as an important element of realism in our art, and I will teach you my grout coloring techniques, how we can transition from one grout color to another using a few pigments. This makes the grout lines disappear, giving the piece a much more fluid look. This method, this method is precise, yet very forgivable, and I will teach you how to highlight specific areas that will make your piece pop. By the end of this project, you will see how incredibly close your mosaic matches the image that you started with. You will learn how to look at glass in a whole new way and search out and buy interesting glass that maybe you haven't thought of using before. This type of project will teach techniques that may be new to you and will expand your skill set for all different types of art mediums and projects. Hope you will join me on this mosaic art adventure. Catherine, thank you so much <laughs> for coming back to Mosaic Arts Online. We have a blast every time you are here. I love Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara and coming to the studio and your energy and what you bring here is phenomenal. And I am so excited for this course, as you know, because I've been asking for a long time. And here it is. And here you are. Here I am. <laughs> here I am. Yeah, I, you have. This is a, a fun technique that uh, I developed a while ago. And... I've um, had to practice teaching it a couple times. It ended up being a very successful class. Everybody loved it and their, their pieces came out great. So uh, um, I got to come up here, work with Tammy and present this for you. Yes. Um, and it came about mostly because I had these be this beautiful glass mm -hmm. and uh, big sheets of this beautiful glass that when I cut it up to use mosaics, I, I realized I was losing the, the wonderful transition of colors that were happening. And I was thinking, how could I use like this transition right here as its own piece of artwork? So I started playing with it. And as you can see, there's like the, the peel of the orange has actually three colors in it and just one piece. Or the, mm -hmm. the cherry actually has the reflection and the pink and the purple. So um, it became a game finding those. And it was interesting when I was doing it with the class, everybody found different colors that worked for them, even though they were working on a lot of the same images. So that's how it came about. So. Well, and it's interesting because both of us come from like kind of a stained glass mosaic art background and all of that. And you have this like specific glass you're always going shopping for. But now you're looking for things like Yakagani, Kokomo, oh, yeah. things that are a little more different that you may not, you know, that are maybe for traditional stained glass artists. Yeah. You're finding those glass pieces and using them in this work. And this is the piece the project that Catherine makes from beginning to end you start with a blank um, frame and we have that in the PDF of where to get it and the image you have seven of those to choose from but what is so incredible about this is this piece and this piece are like my favorite look at the shading in these two pieces and how they were found in one piece of stained glass and it matches perfectly her image. So that to me is really like what you're really teaching people to train their brains to do differently. It is a fun way to look at that. And as you mentioned, I had 
so much of this beautiful glass I hadn't used. So it was really fun. And, and it's interesting, and these are both the same image, but look how different they look. And that's because I found different oranges that transitioned in this compared to this. So, but they both come out great. And so it's challenging, which I think is really important when we're we sign up for a class. The idea is that we get new muscles and we learn new things. And this, I felt, was really special and really unique. Well, and what you're talking about, the muscle, let's take one step backwards that we talked about while you were filming this, and that Catherine has an incredible course at our sister company, Create Arts Online, which is her book building and uh, daily art practice. And she calls it journaling on the side, but really it is that daily art practice. And talk a little bit about that and how that really, you know, kind of made you develop part of this course. I, I always tell my students the best way to become a better mosaic artist or any kind of artist is to draw and to color. And so we do a lot of exercises in right brain development so that it makes it so now when I try to dissect this piece and find the right kind of value and the right kind of transitions. That muscle, I've been working on that in my drawing. So no matter what your skill set is, uh, drawing is always helpful and makes you stronger in that. But even if you haven't been practicing uh, that, I, the way I explain this to you will help you see the transitions in glass and see what you're trying to create. And then of course, our, the grounding technique eats, makes that even more seamless. And you do need a little bit of glass cutting uh, skills to do this. She does not teach how to cut the glass specifically. She does do her types of cuts. So we have courses here at Mosaic Arts Online to do that first, if you like. Mm -hmm. But aside from that, you really could be a beginner. And it's kind of a great way to train the brain as an artist, knowing that since, you know, I've gone backwards and forwards as an artist. Yeah, a lot of people sell themselves short. They think, oh, I'm going to learn how to mosaic. So I, I have to start out with something super, super simple. And, you know, we have learned a lot of skills as we grow up and get older. And if you have a good teacher, you actually can learn these skill sets quite quickly if it's explained well. So don't sell yourself short. You probably, even if you're a beginner, could probably pull something off like this really lovely if you just think and focus. And you have Catherine, by your side every step of the way. I'm on your side. <laughs> Is there anything else that you would like to add? Um, no, hopefully, uh, you know, we will include links of where to find really fabulous glass. And again, being creative with what you have as part of, uh, as part of the exercise. Um, and we will give you everything you need and we want you to have a successful experience. So we're here to make that happen. Yes, I cannot thank you enough for Welcome. coming back to Mosaic Arts Online and bringing a fantastic course for our students. Thank you. Thanks.